Well, hello ladies and gentlemen. After the shakedown ride of a couple of days ago, where I found excessive vibration on the uh, FJR, which I think might be the balance shaft um, part of the clutch, but I'm not certain. You need a better mechanic than me. <coughs> I'm on my way to Yamaha to have the uh, the bike looked at and uh, find out what the problem is. Um, so, for those that have ADD, and there seems to be a few after the comments that have ADD, uh, we'll give you the brief version while I'm going to the Yamaha dealer, which is about five minutes away, approximately, depending on the lights. Okay, so, the bike went in about three weeks ago for its um, recall work. We're in France and we're not allowed to ride because of the current situation very far. I'm allowed 10 kilometers and 10 kilometers around me, which is in Paris, basically means that um, I'm in the city. So I can't really take it anywhere to give it a good shakedown rise. Now, one of the things that we are allowed to do is we're allowed to travel for medical appointments. And earlier this week, I had a medical appointment which was about 30 kilometers, 25 kilometers away. This allowed me to use some of the motorways around um, the France region. And, um, so, being able to use the motorways around the, the region allowed me to take the, the bike up from about 30 miles an hour to 70 miles an hour. And I was able to sort of fully test out how the bike felt after the recall. Now in general, which is fine, there doesn't seem to be anything loose or missing or anything like that. There is one mark on one panel that wasn't there before, um, which I think was basically them putting uh, the panel down upside down on a b uh, the wrong way up on a bench or something like that, which has caused, caused it to be marked, unfortunately risk this. I don't know if I'm why there's enough space. We will see. Um, and there's a small mark on the radiator on the inside of the radiator which wasn't there previously. So those are things that I've seen. And once you get up to about 40, 50 miles an hour there's a definite vibration in the handlebars um, and it feels like you're in the wrong gear so if you're in fourth it feels like you're in third if you're in third it feels like you're in second basically if you're in sixth it feels like you're in fifth that's what it feels like now previously the bike was silky smooth and there was no vibration like this at all so I'm now taking it to the Yamaha dealer. I sent them an email so that there is a paper trail um, to the Yamaha dealer for them to test it. Now because of the vibration I think it's the um, balance shaft which is part of the clutch assembly area. As I say we 
you can feel it once you get up to about 45 50 kilometers an hour uh, you can just about feel it so that's the problem that's what it is in a nutshell I'm off to find out what the problem is but I had a good look at the um, documentation for doing the repair and uh, this is a, an area which they do discuss that has to be uh, double checked and done properly so um, it is actually mentioned in the documentation that this needs to be set up correctly and I think it's just very slightly out and just enough to give me the vibration so I'm not very pleased at all because I'm going to have to try and explain mechanical terms in in French which although I know what they are in English I have absolutely no idea what the the appropriate term is in French so I don't know I'm going to be a bit stuck on this one I think right we'll let you know what happens well hello ladies and gentlemen I'm back I've just picked the uh, FJR up from the uh, the garage after they've done the work let's have a look still a little bit cold it's feeling less buzzy it's, uh, it's better is it's much better I don't think I'll get chance to try it out at speed we'll see what we can do um, I'll give it a go on one of the uh, bypasses around here the gears seem quite tight shifting uh, in touring mode, not sports mode. I did start off in sports mode, and that was fine. No problem. So uh, I'll just give it a a run, and then we'll try and get out onto a bit of dual carriageway and um, see what it's like at uh, the higher speeds. Ladies and gentlemen, we're uh, able to travel at motorway speeds. She's much smoother than she was. They did the balance shot. smoother now, just sitting, sitting there, that's much, much smoother. They seem to have fixed the handlebar shake. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let's um, just see what she's like. We're up to a normal operating temperature. We're full of fuel. She actually feels very, very smooth. A um, little bit 
more vibration than previous, I would say, but I think it's subjective. I couldn't put... Uh, I couldn't uh, guarantee it. So we're at 70. I'm going to just test out the um, head shake. There doesn't seem to be any. Uh, in 6, let's just get her up to a 80 and then slow her down. Right. Right, they've fixed the um, handlebar shake. So the handlebar shake's gone. <coughs> I would say there's just a tiny touch more vibration than there was pre before the recall. Just a tiny touch. Couldn't... Um, it? Not really. I mean it could well just be that it uh, just needs a little bit of bedding in, I don't know. But, uh, certainly coming onto this road, she felt fine. I'd say all in all, we're about back to normal. We're about back to normal. So, they've, as I say, they've fixed the um, handlebar shake. They seem to have fixed the balance shaft problem. I don't feel like I'm in the wrong gear, and I have done quite a bit of running around the, um, the town just to, to feel what it's like. I haven't recorded, well I have recorded it, but I haven't actually got it on this video. So, thank you very much indeed for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. It seems that they put the um, balance shaft in one tooth. What happens is, part of what you have to do is you have to actually set top the... the um, the system at top dead centre before you remove the clutch basket or as you remove the clutch basket should I say and um, I would probably guess that they didn't do that so that when they reset everything Bang on TDC. Um, so although the teeth seem to be lined up, it wasn't absolutely perfect. Anyhow, that's what I think. That's my guess.